Hello everybody and welcome to the Roaring Reef. Previously on this channel, we built the lid for our 22.4 gallon nano tank and whilst it turned out really good, we struggled a lot. And all so far though, the tank lid has been perfect for me. It's kept my fish in, stayed on my tank snugly, and I've had no issues with it. But today I am very excited because we are going to be adding an upgrade to it. Our tank lid turned out pretty good, but the thing I got today to add to it is going to make my life a lot easier and take this lid to the next level. As I have said multiple times on this channel, I want to document everything that I do with this reef tank. No matter if I fail, how boring it is, or how much I don't want to. I know today's video won't be as exciting as our previous videos, but I wanted to just show you guys this product and give you a little review on it. So today we are going to be installing the screen top feeding portal by Neat Aquatics. We picked this guy up from Bulk Reef Supply and I was super excited but a little irritated because as soon as I got my tank lid all put together and got the video edited, these guys got restocked. I immediately went to get one, which was good because within hours they were already out of stock again. I got very lucky. <laughs> Our package arrived very quickly and I was very eager to get it onto the tank. Between when I set up my tank lid and when I actually got this portal home, I had been taking my lid off of my tank every day to feed my fish for about a week. It wasn't the worst thing in the world, but to call it annoying would be an understatement. So I'm very excited about this product. <laughs> I also have this reoccurring fear that one day I'm just gonna forget to put my tank lid back on and that's gonna be the faded day that one of my fish decide that they wanna be a shriveled up piece of fish stick on my floor. So I want to not do that anymore. <laughs> Anyways, so we unboxed it and we got all of our pieces out. The packaging was really cool because there was this little orange strip of 3D printed stuff that was holding all of the pieces together. So we just snipped that and then we had all of our pieces. Then we removed our tank lid and brought it over to my workstation for installation. Installation was quick and easy. All you really do is pick an area of your lid. I chose this bottom right corner because that's where I like to feed. Plus, it's easy access and then sandwich the two portal pieces in between the screen. Then just take the little screws and slide them through your holes and through your mesh and put the nuts on. Simple as that. And now you've placed it on. We took a razor blade and carefully cut our mesh out of our portal and voila, we're done. Side note, the fiberglass mesh that we bought to replace the mesh that came with our DIY kit was such a good idea and it was much better than the other mesh and I don't think the other mesh would have worked for this. I think the fiberglass mesh is so much sturdier than the other mesh was, so I think this is going to hold up really well. But now it's time to seal the deal. I put my tank lid back on my tank and before we put our portal cap on, I wanted to test it out. So we took a bit of fish food and plopped it through our portal. This is the fish food that I feed when I don't feed frozen foods, by the way. I like it because it's low in phosphates, and that's what my local fish shop owner recommended for me. If you have any suggestions for good fish foods, then let me know. I'm always willing to try out new foods. Anyways, I cannot believe how much easier this is than taking the lid off. I know this upgrade is going to make my life a lot easier, and it's going to make feeding my fish even that much more fun. After we fed the fish, I put our little portal cap back on, and I can't believe how much easier this is. I would highly recommend this product if you have a screen mesh lid. I could see this making dosing your tank or feeding your corals so much easier as well. I know a lot of people don't even bother with lifting their lid and just pour their stuff through their mesh, which would give me such an aneurysm if I did that. So I could not recommend this product more. I'll leave a link to it in the description of the video if you want to pick it up whenever Bulk Reef Supply gets it back in stock. But anyways, I think that is all that I have for you guys today. I know today's video was short and not as exciting as usual, but I really wanted to give this product a review and just update you guys with what I'm doing with the tank. Also stay tuned because our reef is only a few more days from being one month old and I'm going to have an awesome video out for that. So if you're just as excited about the Roaring Reef as I am, then consider subscribing. And if you're interested in more fun Roaring Reef content, then you can check out our TikTok and Instagram. We have a lot of fun over there and we would love to have you guys. But I think that is all that I have for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed and peace out.